Soup's on this weekend in New Holstein. The Keel Middle School Quest students are putting on a special event called Empty Bowls. It raises money to help hungry in Northeast Wisconsin. Teacher Mickey Wise joins us with students Mia and Cody and a whole bunch of Empty Bowls. And did you make this one for me? Hi. <laughs> R for Rachel. I just noticed that. I'm like, that is super cool. So, teacher, I'll start with you. Uh, what What is the Empty Bowl project? It's actually a national movement to raise money um, and awareness about hunger. Mm -hmm. The proceeds from our event, 100% uh, of the proceeds will go to the three area food pantries, which are New Holstein, Keel, and Chilton. Okay, and the students that are here, Mia and Cody, they, you guys made your own bowls? Yeah. yeah. Talk to, you, Mia, we'll start with you. Show us your bowl. Hold that up and tell us a little bit about it. Well, I was planning on making it like the colors brighter, but um, because it was the Friday before Valentine's Day that right. we started glazing. Well, it's pink. It's pretty. Yeah, um, but I was planning on having it like darker red um, where it's right here. Okay. Um, but all in all, I did like how it turned out because um, I had fuchsia and crimson thought that that was the closest colors that I could get to like a bright pink and bright red. So it's kind of like an art project with a cause. Right. What, what are you going to do with the bowl now? What happens to um, it? Well, they're going to take them to the Gloria Day Church in New Holstein and they're going to set them out on a table and like when people donate their money they're going to be able to pick out a bowl and um, they're going to have the soup and everything. Can, so you can eat right out of that bowl? Yeah. Cody, what about yours? Tell us a little bit um, about well, yours. I like the color brown and I like the color purple, so I wanted to make it like drop, like to make droplings, cool. so it goes down. So I put it drooping in my bowl, the purple, and then I um, coated really it inside neat. with blue. Lots of different colors in there. Now, do you get to keep this or is someone else going well, home with your bowl? Um, I bought it. You bought it already? Okay, so you get to eat soup out of that. Yeah. What do you think about this event? Um, I think it's cool. I think it's nice because you get to raise money for the hungry and stuff. And do, do the people who go get to take these bowls home with yes, them? Yes, these are considered a touchstone or reminder that there are people in the world who do go to bed with an empty bowl every night, who don't have enough money for supper or anything like that. Um, and this project was started by an art teacher who wanted to do okay. community service. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which state in the United States it started in. But it was a perfect fit for me because I teach both Quest, which is a character education program, okay. and art. So it's kind of a perfect fit. It's a fit. combination of it. Yeah. And some of these really are works of art. Yeah. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> Imagining soup out of this one. You see that? Yes, yeah, so a boy named Garrett designed that. Oh, and he's wow. very artistic. He's a and different. And, yeah, and it's neat to make them unique. Uh, a lot of times the kids hope that if they are unique, they will stick out to the participants in the event and that they will maybe choose one of these. And then you get to go home with that and a belly full of soup. Exactly. And <laughs> entertainment. We are going to have live music provided by another teacher at our school named Tim Kohlberg. And I will be demonstrating pottery throwing on a pottery wheel. Excellent. It's this Sunday from 4 to 7? Yes, 4 to 7 this Sunday. At the Gloria Day Church in New Holstein. And how much is it? Uh, it's a recommended donation of $10 for adults and $5 for children. Mickey, me, and Cody, thank you so much. Have a great time on Sunday. Okay. Enjoy the soup. Thanks for having us. <laughs>